Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In this video you will see in which direction the price of IOTA has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators SMA, EMA, Divergence and MACD are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the IOTA hourly time frame, the price dipped down with around 3.4%, but then came quickly up again in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 65.4 cents. Jumping to the hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA. The 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 65.8 cents. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is is situated below the hourly ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance, so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 67.1 cents. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Generally, when the price moves sideways, the ribbon gets less accurate. On the lookout for divergences in the hourly time frame, the price has already gone up owing to the last bullish divergence. Jumping to the hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. But according to the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is going down. Owing to this we can expect the price to remain stable and you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be a downward trend. Moving to the 3 hourly simple moving averages, the price has crossed the 20 SMA downwards but it's not a very strong signal that the volume hasn't been very high. The current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 66.9 cents. Jumping to the 3 hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is below the 3 hourly ribbon, which is generally bearish and the ribbon could play as a resistance, so it is to watch if the price will bounce off it or break it. The current price to watch is around 71.6 cents. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the resistance should be considered. Looking for divergence in the 3 hourly time frame, there is a bullish divergence, which means we can expect the price going up or at least to remain stable for some time. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, the current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 50 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 76.3 cents. Moving to the daily exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is is situated below the daily ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 79.9 cents. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Jumping to the daily MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and it is to wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals.
so you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.